Hey everybody and welcome back to Falcon Please uh, Rimworld and today as you can see we I've went ahead and renamed the some of the prisoners that we caught so I believe we uh Ben has got renamed over to Anderson Peña the viewer Anderson Peña I just renamed him to Anderson to keep it a little bit shorter so Anderson welcome to the colony as well as the other person I think was Precog we named Precog after the user or viewer funky unsc so uh funky unsc welcome to the colony as well and again we're actually cutting down through the um wait list all together so guys just hang in there there's uh the list is getting smaller and smaller just remember there's a lot of people still coming and asking me so if you are asking me now to add you to the colony you, i will add you still but it's gonna take a bit longer and longer but we did get at least two more guys we would add three but unfortunately during the last raid last time um one of the persons that we caught on his way to be taken over the prison got um killed in the line of fire so here's what i'm gonna do um i'm down here i'm gonna make a little bit of a prison cell area essentially oh one second here well i might be able to mine this a bit more but for now let me cancel this out here so down over here is going to be the prison area i'm gonna have individual rooms for the prisoners essentially so that they get i guess recruited a bit easier and whatnot so that's going to be this area down over here we'll make this kind of like a few kind of a prison cell area so that we don't have to worry about catching a guy and then taking him in here and worrying about um them getting shot and killed in the line of duty at the same time it also puts my my colonists in the line of danger because they're over here not fighting instead of just walking over here so hopefully that'll kind of help us out a bit and we're also going to extend the battery room and rear area uh the battery room a bit more because as you can see here our batteries are still having a hard time charging because there's so much power being uh sucked everywhere else right now so we'll take care of that soon enough and we might even put another solar panel next to these guys if we have to as a matter of fact we might as well just do that now. I'd imagine one over here and here wouldn't hurt either, so that'll get going soon enough. And now we can just kind of go ahead and, uh... Well, yeah, that's not connected because we're kind of deconstructed soon enough either way, so... Alrighty, and as soon as they get that out of the way, I'll start making the buildings right there for the prison cell area down over here. Other than that, we're doing good so far, though. Uh, trade oh, industrial trader, good. We're actually using a lot of metal right now, so that's actually going to help us out a bit. So, my guy is Arson, ever since uh, Bruce Wayne unfortunately died. So, Arson, where are you up to? Arson seems to be grabbing some metal to probably grab something, but Arson, I'm going to have to stop whatever you're doing. Let me just have you go and start dealing with this industrial trader. And hopefully we get some of these guys recruited soon enough there. Snaz, come on, bro. And let's see here. Um, Let's go ahead and buy all this metal off of this guy for sure. We're building up a lot of metal, uh, silver, I should say, so I'm not too worried about actually spending a little bit needlessly now, but... There you go. More metal right there. And let's see, our metal supply is still pretty good up here. And I suppose the other thing we could do is now, actually, to kind of speed them up actually getting from one area to the other, it would probably be in my best interest to actually put up some... Oh, let's see, what do we want to go here? Metal tiles, I guess, will work. Yeah. Let's put up some metal tiles, uh, along this path. Just so that my guys have an easier way to go about there. And we'll probably fill this completely out with metal soon enough, but not really a priority just yet. I'd rather just get the the important part out of the way first and foremost. Alrighty. So that's been taken care of here. As soon as we're done mining this area, I'll start setting up the rooms that we need over here as well. What do we have now? Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. So that came down on us, which is kind of my fault for not realizing that, though. So... Uh, let's see, I'll put up a wall, I would say right about there, and another one right about here. And then we will now extend this battery room area down to here, I'd imagine. Set one up over here, there, and there, 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 and there. Okay. And as soon as we get those, uh... I guess boulders up and running, the ones that are going to work as our support, we'll be able to mine this out and put another battery in its place right about there. Seems we already put them up, right? So, now we could pretty much mine out that area right there. Mine this out whenever you guys get a chance. Melting cat, thank you. And now we will put a battery room right about there. Alrighty, good. So now we have a good amount of batteries going and we have a few more solar panels going as well. Good, good. Just about everything's connected, right? All those batteries are... Connected to one another. Ah, uh, they certainly are to an extent there. Okay. So that's up and running. And now we have the area over here to kind of set up our prison cell. So, let's do so. And let's start off with over here. And let's go this way. This way we'll put up a door right about there. And then do that. There you go. And then the same over here is going to be one, two, right? One, two. 
Set this up. One, two. Set this up. Oh. Okay, I think that's about right. And then put a door right here, right there, and right there. And again, this is the prison area, so we'll definitely make this red still. Just to signify to my villagers that, hey, you know, it's red, it's bad. Red is always bad. So we'll put it right there, and then let's go ahead and drop... They don't get king-sized beds, though, okay? They're still in prison, so we'll put a bed right there in the center. And then we'll give them a little bit of a standing lamp, like so, like so, like so, and like so. And fuck it, you know what, let's even put a potted plant in there. Just so that they're more likely to want to join because it looks nice and whatnot. They'll probably be thinking, well, they're treating me this good in prison. Probably joining them is probably the best solution here. Now, I'm also going to actually consider um, fighting these guys. Well, not fighting them, but actually beating their asses down if they don't want to join us soon enough, though. So, that's another thing to consider, honestly. Power conduit. This isn't connected to anything, though. So, we definitely want this connected through right about there, I'd imagine. And then we can even build another room over here, as a matter of fact. Can we? We definitely can. Well, let's just leave it as four right now. I think there's more than enough for it in the meantime. And then this will be prisoner area. As soon as that's built, we'll put that as a prison area as well. Okay, and what do we have here? Raiders are landing nearby. Jump to the location. Quite a few guys up here in this upper right portion. So they'll probably be coming... Either way, they'll probably split up more than likely. I also want to kind of get this geothermal in our grasp, so I'll probably start focusing on building a geothermal there, blocking it off, and having that connect to our base and have it uh, draw in more power for us too, so we'll keep that in mind. Let's see, we're starting to lose a bit of more frames here. That is probably due to the fact that there's a lot of uh, shit on the floor. That's probably one of the things I really dislike about actually having the... Um, the stockpile would not work as it used to because now each time that you have all, all, all these things are basically taking up uh, power from the game. So basically the more things you have on the floor, the less uh, smoother it's going to run now. So especially if you're doing fast forward, you do in normal time, it runs pretty good. But once you start uh, putting this in fast forward, then that's when uh, you start dropping quite a bit of frames. So I'll see if I could kind of work some things around that for sure. But in the meantime, not really a big priority. As a matter of fact, we could probably even... Let's see, um, let's go ahead and delete this zone over here. We don't need this anymore. Anything else? That's about it for now. Okay. Cool, and that's over there powered up and everything nice and dandy. Let's also go ahead and add part of this to the home zone just in case uh, we could get some cleaning done over here. Might as well. Okay. Now, what I want to do as well is, um, I want to use those rooms and move these guys over. But since we have the raid about to come down and it's not really a big priority at the moment, we'll do this after the raid. So my battery room is pretty good. Everything seems to be just about cleaned up. Bodies are been disposed of. For the most part, we've also cleaned up most of the blood and most of the trouble spots as well. The, there's a bit more blood here and there, but not really big priorities right now. And the raiders are about to come down, so that's another thing to consider here. I said I was going to mine out this area here for silver, and I'll do that after the raid. I actually forgot about doing that, but we will definitely get that controlled soon enough. Alrighty, so the raiders are going to be coming. Let's see. Where are you guys going to be coming from? Well, I know where you're going to be coming from. Where are you guys going to be going is the real question here. Okay, let me put this in real time now. Okay, it seems like you're not... You're starting to break off, but... E come on. More to the right. Alright, the majority are going to be going to the right, though, so that's actually pretty good for us. And, oh, luckily for us, we have a lot of people already on this side. So, let's see, nobody down here, nobody down below. Okay, good. So, what we're going to be doing, then, is you guys just militarize you now. Have you up and running here, and let's see, Mighty Mikey is long distance, so you hang out back over here. Brandon, you are short distance, go over there along with you to Bolt. Kyle, let me have you hook up back over here. Herb, back over here, and Melting Cat, back over here. So, a lot of my long distance shooters are right here, which is... Okay, but not too great because I do need some uh, guys doing some of the frontline dirty work. So SNES, let me go ahead and have you go over there. Along with Mangina. And then James Brown. I need you to drop that food momentarily, James Brown, because we have some work to do over here. There's a few going to be heading off to the other side, but that's okay. Not a big concern right now. Bro Kick, let me have you hook up right there, bro. No pun intended. Arson. 
Maybe you have you go back here, Penske, back over here. What else do we have here? Harry is gonna... Harry doesn't have a spot yet, so Harry, you go and hang out right about there. That's where Batman died, so be careful. Jeff, uh, go and give him a hand on this side as well. Uh oh, I just realized I forgot to set up these uh, blast charges over here, so... Let's go ahead and take care of this guy, this little section over here. Good, so they're kind of hurt now. And then, as soon as these guys hit over here, we'll probably set the other blast charge for this area. And I have a pretty good setup for us all together. Jeff is moving to position. These guys are now leaving. Moldad, are you still trying to recruit Moldad? It's not the time right now. I know you're doing your best to try to get more people to help us out, but... For the meantime, don't let me have you just hook up right up front here. Brokick, do you have somebody on your side? I hope you do. And let's set off this blast charge over here. Okay, and these guys are, have finally opened this area up, but the majority of them are seem to be going away now. So this guy is dead. I won't do any melee just yet. I'm gonna thin down the numbers. That's what happened last time, I believe, that I felt that I kind of, uh, I, I was too aggressive in the attack, so it kind of screwed us over to a degree. Uh, let's see here. I could set this off now and just forget about this area. But, again, I'm trying to maximize the number of people we catch. Now they're going to the other one, which sucks. Oh god, you motherfuckers. Why would you leave? There's an entrance right there, completely open for you. Alrighty, so here comes the first portion of these guys. Okay, um, it seems that they've pretty much given up over here, doesn't it? If that's gonna be the case, then Melting Ked and you guys go, um... Give us a hand right about there, I'd say. Alright, and I'll set this one off soon, like now. Alrighty. So that probably hurt quite a few of them right there at the very least. And let's see, they're still moving on that side. It seems they've just about given up over here. So I'm gonna have you to bolt and Brandon also come and give us a hand over on this side. Okay. So that guy is now dead. John got pretty jacked up right there. Good shot, whoever that was. Alrighty, and now, shortly, we should probably be thinking about setting off this blast charge. Maybe we could get, like, at least two more guys right there. Quite a few guys, in fact. Alrighty, and there's still probably two more guys coming in here. So now, Snez, you go and start doing some melee along with Mangina. See if you could go and work on this guy. And let me have James Brown give you a hand right there. So that'll take care of most of this side. And then how are we doing over here? Harry, pretty good. Bro kick, still good. Penske's the one that's taking more damage more than anybody here. Okay, so now I could have also Herb go and set up right about there. Melting Ked, you could probably just not hang out there, go in behind cover at least. Alrighty, and I think that we are now just about ready to go and start doing some melee, as a matter of fact. Oh, the sniper's just hanging out over here. Alright, so Harry, go and start doing some melee over here. Jeff, you've taken a bit of a hit, but let me go and have you work over here. Bro kick, let me have you work on this guy here. Okay, that guy is dead now, so is that person. Okay, so you know what? We might want to actually retreat for now. Bro kick, go and hang out over here, and Jeff, you hang out back over here. Harry, let me have you hook back up over on this side. And how are you guys doing over on this side? Alright. Snezza just killed this person. Snez is a monster. And Wedge is coming on over this side. Uh, he's a little bit hurt, though, so I think we should be okay. So if anything, Snez, let me have you come and hook up. Oh, let's say... Snez. Snez, let me have you come and hook up right about here, I'd say. Alrighty. Oh, what the fuck? How do you get this shot over here? That's ridiculous. Alrighty, Jeff, let me move, have you move back a bit here. Okay, they're fleeing now. That was actually a pretty bad raid. I'm not gonna get that many knockouts or at all, honestly. Uh, let's see, Brandon, let's see if you can have you go and rush out over here. And let's see... Irv, maybe you could go over here and attack this person. This person. This person. Alright, come on. Come on, guys. See if you can catch anybody. As you can tell, I took a little bit more of a safer approach this time just because I was a little bit worried as to what happened last time with Batman and all that shit, so I wanted to be a bit more on the safer side, but 
At the same time, when you're on the safer side, you have less chance to recruit people, so... These guys are done over here, so let me have you unrecruit and start working on the fires right about there. And let's see, you guys are going to be hanging out over on this side. Alright, so we've caught at least three people that we're going to start meleeing. Brandon's not going to probably catch up to that person, I don't imagine, but... Uh oh Harry, stop it. Alright, Harry, you're done. You go and uh, unmilitarize and work on fires. No, it was broke kick all along. Brandon, catch up to them. Yes, good job, Brandon. Oh, uh, we killed this person too, though. So you guys unmilitarize. Don't shoot. Jeff, don't shoot. Brandon? Oh, God! Why are you guys so sharpshooters? Okay, so everybody's dead. All the raiders are dead, it seems. We didn't catch anybody this time around, unfortunately. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, it's partially my fault. Like I said, I played it a bit more safer this time. I waited till a lot of them were down before we actually focused on doing some uh, melee up close. But again, I was a little bit worried since we lost Batman last time. We lost so many people last time. Well, they didn't lose anybody, but... We lost Batman completely, and then the other guys that we didn't lose got a lot of unconscious knockouts, which was kind of worrying me, so... Uh, that's what happens when you play a bit safer. Unfortunately, I'm trying to recruit so I can get a lot of you guys renamed to the colony, so that's the reason why that's partially what happened there. Let me get these weapons picked up and running, along with those, and that as well. But as you can see, the, the, the... The base, or at least the defense that I run, does work when I want it to work, and I mean, I want it to work most of the time, right? But as you can see, if we're not, if not, if I'm not doing that much of an effort to kind of knock people loud, we are kind of genuinely safe for the most part. But uh, you know, I also want to get knocked out, so that's the reason why I play it so risky. So they'll be able to knock that stuff out soon enough over those fires, I should say. And then if that is the case, then let's put a wall right there in its place and rebuild this wall. Rebuilt this one and set up a door right about there. And everything else over here seems to be pretty good. So, I mean, overall, good raid. I mean, I'm not complaining. At least we didn't lose anybody. Nobody went unconscious, so that's always good. We detected cargo, food. I don't really care about that, so that's perfectly fine. We'll have them rebuild the portions to be rebuilt soon enough. Alrighty. So now that's done with, though, we could probably start thinking about... Oh, my bad, Brandon. You uh, could unmilitarize. Thank you for chasing that person down and doing your best there. You tried, unfortunately, my guys were so dead set on killing those people, so what can you do about that? Alrighty, so let's see, what else do we have going here? Mmm, these beds are just about ready, though. So, how would this work? Do I just essentially, um, deconstruct the beds, right? I'll just deconstruct the beds, and then I'll have, have them recapture the people, right? Soon that's how it works. So now, um, Melting, if you can, go and arrest Brisinger. Snezit, forget that. Arrest Anderson. And Moldad, forget anything and arrest, uh, Funky. Funky U-N-S-C. Alright, perfect. And Snez, you could, uh, you know, run off and do whatever you have to do there. Cool. Those guys are gonna be moved over to a better location for them, and now we could also even, uh, pretty much just wreck this whole area now, now. No reason for it to be there anymore. And I suppose that works for the carpeting as well. Uh, so let's might as well make this hole into concrete once again. And I didn't think I did construct- oh, I did. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and concrete the whole area up over here, and there you go. And what do we have here? Uh-oh! Oh, something fell on us because there is a bit of a roof over this section, unfortunately. But luckily it didn't kill anybody, so that's the plus side right there. Alrighty, so what I want to also do, or I suppose I can't afford to do, is actually put another like barricade area here where I could kind of uh, fall back, just in case anybody's over here gets kind of over-flooded. Um, but not necessarily a priority just yet, I don't think. Alrighty, so how are you guys doing here in your new domains? That's what I want to know. Anderson. Let me see Anderson's thoughts here. Loyalty's down. Happiness. Uh, uh, pleasant environment. Cramped environment. Imprisoned. Well, that's going to happen. But basically, I believe that they're... Um... No, that's still high up. Well, maybe they'll get recruited soon enough. Oh, Melting Cat, you could get it uh, out of the way there. All right, guys. So pretty good so far. That was actually a good rate, at least in terms of uh, keeping you guys safe for once, which I haven't been doing too much recently of. So on the plus side. All righty. What else do we have to focus on today, though? Let's see here. Uh, bodies are still being put away. Batteries are starting to charge up to a degree now, so that's actually pretty good. 
And let's see. Well, let's actually start thinking about getting uh, our metal supply is still pretty high up. That's no doubt about that. But there's never enough metal. So if we can, let's actually start thinking about mining this area right there. Mining this over here. This over there. This like this. And let's see what else do we got here. I'm glad that we do have a lot of metal still to kind of uh, in our grasp because uh, the moment that we finish over here, we're pretty much done overall in the map because most of the upper portions of the map are kind of uh, completely empty. What happened here? Oh, we got a uh, funky UNC. Sweetness. Alrighty. Welcome to the club. And let's see, mine this area over through this side and then we'll get this portion later. There's a bit more mining to do on this side as well. But um, I guess we'll start mining that soon enough, but not a big priority just yet. So let me get into Funky UNC over here. Uh, he's not going to be doing much of anything, unfortunately. But at least give him the ones and the basics that are always really important. Mining, I guess you're going to be a miner. No, they're about, about it. Growing. I have to worry about that. Yeah. And cooking. Well, might as well give you like a two in cooking and help us out whenever there's nothing else to do. Alright, and in terms of giving that man a weapon of his own... Where is he? There he is. Uh, how are you in terms of shooting, though? A well, one. Oh, you're really, really fucking terrible at shooting. <laughs> uh, so... I guess we'll just give you an M16 just because uh, at least it lets you shoot more often, so... The M24 takes a bit longer to kind of charge up the shot. So you have to be a little bit more better at shooting at that. I still haven't done a complete round of uh, shots yet, like actually getting my guys equipped or at least upgrading their shooting ability just yet, but we'll do that soon enough, that's for sure. And let's see. Another raid assault hanging out over here. Not that... well, kind of big, but not that big, so... <laughs> uh, she's never said that, though. I was not, I'm gonna say that's what she said because it'd be a damn lie, you guys know it, and, you know, who am I kidding here? Nobody. Alrighty. I want to kind of also put... Mm, our battery room isn't, I mean, our batteries aren't charging up completely. I really trying to wonder why that is. I mean, well, I mean, there's an eclipse for sure, but I guess we have a lot of lamps everywhere. I I've been told that I don't necessarily need the lamps in the rooms because, um, you know, they're only there to sleep. And then the moment that they leave, the buff kind of goes away. So I guess it wouldn't be the worst case scenario to actually, well, Probably be easier if I didn't have to go one by one, but I suppose I could turn these off now and just leave this as a, as a room to sleep. At least so we could charge more battery power, I suppose. That's what I'm trying to get at, at least. I like to have them lit up, but, you know, if it's gonna really... If my batteries are doing pretty bad, I'd rather have my batteries kind of juice up a bit before... Not not juice up, like I'm gonna, you know, start shooting steroids or anything like that. Although that'd be pretty goddamn amazing. That'd be quite a powerful lamp if it started juicing up, that's for sure. Kind of look like Arnold Schwarzenegger back in his uh, younger days. I've been watching a lot of uh, <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's YouTube channel. I love that guy. You cannot like Arnold. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, sure, he kind of screwed up California when he was the governor and everything like that. But I still like the guy. He's a he's a he's like a nice guy. Like it seems like in the streets and stuff. Like he never seems like a dick. Like he's like, no, and I have no time for this. Or I suppose if I was like Arnold, I'd be doing it in his tone of voice. I'd be like, I have no, I have no time for this. Does that work? No, it sounded more. I'm not sure what kind of accent that was. It wasn't an Arnold accent, though, that's for sure. All right, and the Raiders are about to come down on us now. And you know what? I think it's a perfect time to actually end the episode here today and kind of get ready for the assault. And hopefully... Oh, no! Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. I forgot to set up the blast charges up again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, well, I was over here talking about Arnold instead of worrying about setting up my blast charges again. Which is kind of terrifying now, because I don't think I have enough time. Perhaps. Okay, we'll find out, guys. So let's uh, tune in the next episode and hopefully see if uh, we don't pretty much screw the pooch by not setting those blast charges up in time. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I encourage you to go ahead and click that thumbs up button. It really means a lot to me. The support really means a lot. So uh, once again, guys, I will catch you next time.